So Angus here, and this is a Caliber VO2 Max update. So I've done a mini review on the Caliber. I've done a full review on the Caliber that you should check out. In short, resting metabolic rate, absolutely freaking incredible. Worth the 500 pounds. Plus I have a discount code of $50 off. It's Angus 50 on the Caliber website. I will link it below. But is it good for VO2 Max testing? And initially I've kind of said no, but I reviewed the data to, to try and get a little bit more. If I keep looking down, it's because I've got my notes on my iPad down here. Okay, so something to point out, I was looking through my data and I had done a Norwegian four by four. I'd actually done five by four. So the first four minutes was a kind of warm up, then a four minute rest, four minutes hard, four minutes rest and so on. And the last one, I actually scored a peak VO2 max of 2.84, which is the highest I've ever recorded with Caliber which I thought, oh, that's really interesting because that was probably the hardest I've pushed myself. And it's also on the cardio that I'm probably best at, which is cycling. I'm a bit out of sorts running and I'm a bit out of sorts rowing and I haven't skied on the skier in ages. So the Caliber measures peak VO2 max, which is a measurement of the amount of oxygen coming in and out. And you can convert that to VO2 max, but you need your body weight. So Peter Atia loves his VO2 max and as the number one longevity metric. The problem with it is, or one of the reasons is a good longevity metric is because it's also based on your body weight. So if you have particularly good cardio and you're of a good weight, like a normal weight, not over muscled and not over fat, your longevity markers are gonna be good because being over fat is not good for your health and being over muscled isn't good for your health. And when I say being over muscled, I'm talking kind of steroid user over muscled, not what you could get to naturally by lifting weights. Lifting weights, of course, is important. Check out Alpha Progression. That's the app I recommend for lifting weights. Link in the description. So, but peak VO2 max doesn't change. So say my VO2 max is 40 and I'm 100 kilos and I lose 20 kilos, my VO2 max goes up, but with no change to my peak VO2 max. So your peak VO2 max is just a better metric overall, but we are gonna convert it to VO2 max. So anyway, so I did my four by four and I scored 2.84. Don't worry about these numbers. I will recap at the end. And that's the highest I've ever scored with the caliber and it was a particularly hard session. So awesome. Then... I converted that in ChatGPT, which gave me a score of a VO2 max of 227, sorry, 27.8. The next thing I did was a test you can do on the Concept2 rowing machine, which is a 2K test, and then you can input it on the Concept2 website, and it will give you a guesstimation of your VO2 max, which was 28.8. Like I said, I haven't rowed for a while. My rowing form is terrible. It's not the best I've ever scored. The best I've scored on that was like sub eight minutes. My ankles don't bend very well. I reckon I could probably get maybe past that if my ankles worked better. But for the sake of this, the one I did recently was 28.8. You can also use your FTP, which is your functional uh, threshold power. So your FTP on your bike is you can do an hour test or a 20 minute test. I reckon I can hold 190. I've not actually done this. This is just where I think I could hold. I just would not want to do this, which is another thing about VO2 max or VO2 max testing is not fun, not fun at all. And also not recommended hitting a max in anything, whether it's a one rep max deadlift or an all out effort on an FTP, not fun. You wanna leave a little recovery in there. Again, I use ChatGPT to convert this and it says my VO2 max is 23.3. So in this mini conclusion, Calibre had me at 27.8, the rowing machine had me at 28.8 and FTP had me at 23.3. The average of that is 26.26, which ba -ba -ba -da, Calibre is closest to. So the only winner here is Calibre and the loser is my VO2 max, which is could be better, it's kind of in the average range. It definitely could be better. Um, and I've written here, this is actually wild, which it is, like Calibre's just simply incredible. So that's it, RMR, it's good for RMR. For VO2 max, it's good for VO2 max, or even better, it's good for peak VO2. Also, you have to really push yourself. I just cannot stress that enough. You really have to push yourself to, to get through to this 
machine. You really have to be like, I am doing a VO2 max today test. Also, I didn't do the VO2 max test that they have on the Caliber website. They have an actual protocol and you should probably do that if you want the most accurate result from this. It will give you your peak VO2 for that session. So if you're just doing a light zone two cycle, it will give you a peak VO2 it will give you a peak VO2 metric for that. And I wish Caliber would do something like, hey, this is your, based on your best ever peak VO2, this is a good zone for, you know, this. Uh, this is a good zone for this, and this is a good zone for this. You are blah, using this, not necessarily fuel substrate, but this is good for improving this part of endurance. Um, so that is basically Caliber with the, the VO2 max. My next sort of test with Caliber is a fat burning zone and where's the best place to be in a in a fat burning zone. And mini conclusion on that is basically that I'm holding my bike at a lot lower intensity than I was previously for my zone two. My zone two was burning way too many carbohydrates, nearly 100% carbohydrates, which isn't really the zone two I'm looking for because I want to be in that fat burn max stage. Anyway, I will cover that in a future video. I will also cover with the Caliber five experiments that you can do with your resting metabolic rate, which I just think this thing is absolute king at. This device is just simply next level awesome. And I really think it should be in the hands of more people, more coaches, because this is now you just have data that you just couldn't get before. Like these tests would be a hundred dollars, hundred pounds, two hundred dollars, two hundred pounds. This device is five hundred pounds, five hundred dollars. Um, I'm gonna cut this video short before I ramble on too much. Caliber, check out my link below. Hit like and subscribe for future content, and also. Uh, drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this. Do you agree with what I've just said here? Do you disagree? Let the people know. Anyway, Angus out.